What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went up north of Six Island, battled a few trainers, caught a few Pokemon, did a few things, you know, that kind of stuff. And now it is time for us to go down south of Six Island, because there is uh, something important there. Something very, very important. And yes, we are still in Egg Watch. I haven't... I haven't even checked the egg yet, so let's go ahead and see what it's all about. And it looks like it's about to, to hatch. Okay, cool. That's very, very cool. Now, the other thing too, guys, I have added Puss in Boots back into the team because we're going to need its sharp claws. Yeah, I'm not joking about this. We're going to need its sharp claws for a bunch of stuff. And yes, Max Repels are always uh, welcome right here because, well, you know, Pokemon attacks. And uh, let's see, there is an item right here. Look at that, we found ourselves a pineapple berry, or pinat berry, and, uh, let's see, I'm just looking around for some items, you know, me scavenger, scavenging around, I can't even say it right, scavenging around, and, well, there's nothing right there except for right here, we'll find ourselves an aspear berry, and yes, we are still trying to evolve, or talk to Batman into its final form, now that we're enabled, or enabled to do it, and, well, would you look at that, tell me, where are the mountains around these parts? I do not know because, you know, you can't really see. Okay, so here we are taking on Hiker Earl, and he is going to be coming out with an Onyx. Okay, so Bones, do your thing. Brick break, brick break, brick break, and, uh, well, the cool thing about Onyx is here in Generation 3 is that they now, they can now learn uh, Dragon Breath, which is a huge plus because uh, it's giving me ideas, lots of ideas, and, well, Look at that, Machoke defeated, Tonks of Batman, level 45, doing business, that's right, that's right, we're, we're, we're making this Pokemon strong AF, and, well, here we are, going into the Ruin Valley, this place, you're going to be needing a Pokemon with strength, because there, there's going to be an item around here somewhere, and plus, there are two Pokemon that you can actually find in this location, and I am going to stay away from that. I think one of those Pokemon is a Natu, while the other one is a Yanma. Be aware, guys, that Yanma is a very difficult Pokemon to find. And, well, here we go. Grab that. Found ourselves a Sunstone. So we were talking about the Sunstone in the last episode. I thought we got it for a gift, but turns out it's not that. It's not, well, we're not, we're not correct about that. Now, the Sunstone can be used to evolve Pokemon, uh, such as... Bloom to its secondary form, which is a uh, Blossom. And if you guys find a Sunkern, that is also a Pokemon you can actually evolve with the Sunstone. And well, let's go ahead and move these boulders out of the way, you know, with our muscles and all that stuff. And we found ourselves an HP up. Okay, so I want to give that HP up to talk to Batman because it, it can raise up its uh, its love for us. Believe it or not, guys, if you max out. If you max out your Pokemon stats with vitamins, and they are Pokemon that are they have an evolution via you know happiness, max them out, bam, that's how you get yourself a Pokemon. Uh, that, that, that's how you get their evolution. And well, this Pokemon is confused, still not letting me go. So let's go with an air cutter. And wow, Persian has kicked our butts. Yeah, the more we faint, yeah, the more. Dogs of Batman is not gonna evolve. Good gravy. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, this is fantastic. Very, very fantastic. Uh, I think. Oh wow, there it is. We still got our max potions right here. Let's get the heck out of here and find find ourselves right here. We're gonna be taking on this hiker. We battle with you so high up. So I guess these places are representative of mountains. I think. I don't know. So here we go, taking on Daryl, and he's coming out with a pseudo Udo. And I remember when when they they did an episode of pseudo Udo, where they were trying to figure out what kind of a type it was. Was it a grass type or was it a rock type? Well, was it a ro uh, was it a, a grass type? They were trying to figure that out, but then you know they realized that they didn't like water, and they came to the conclusion that pseudo Udo is basically a petrified tree. It turns into a rock, does not like water, and it breaks into half, and whoa! Oh, oh, oh! And look at that, guys. Our, our egg finally hatched. And 
Yes, we're going to be giving this Pokemon a nickname. If you guys have been watching my Pokemon Heart Gold, you're missing out. Yes, we nicknamed this Pokemon Toge Pri. Will we be using this Pokemon here? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Don't tempt me, guys. Do not tempt me. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Togepi, level 5. This Pokemon right here, Bashful, ruined in a, well, it, it was born in a ruined valley. And, uh, well, its Serene Grace promotes added effects. It does have some pretty good stats right there, and it does have three three moves. I don't know if it learns extra sensory or any kind of other moves while as a, to a Togepi, but we'll find out. We'll eventually find out right here. Um, let's see. Got a trainer. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Wow. Yeah, we do not want to battle that guy, so let's go ahead and battle him. I'm pretty familiar with the land around these parts, so I'm pretty sure he already has like a lay of the land and all that stuff. So here we go, taking on Pokemaniac Hector, and he's going to be coming out with his Rhyhorn. At this point, we got to go with like our water type Pokemon because, yeah, these rock types are crazy. So let's go with Bones, Brick Break, Brick Break. And brick break again. Oh wow, we got our butts kicked. So let's go with talk to Batman. Air, air cutter does it, and Hector has been defeated. Holy crap, we're getting our butts kicked here. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get attacked by a Pokemon, and this Pokemon is Meowth. And well, let's see. Yeah, we got Spearow. I'm purposely trying to look for a Pokemon here, guys. And we got two or three or the yeah, we got, we got quite a few guys. Wanting to battle us, so let's see. Ultra Psycho, you need to get to level 50, so let's go right ahead and do that. Alright, bring it on. There appear to be many secrets still unsolved in this world. Yeah, don't say. So here we go, take it on. Who are we taking on? Ruin Maniac Stanley. And, well, he does have himself a Graveler. And we're gonna continue on right here. Look at that. Talks about him grows level 46. Let's give a little love to not this guy, but this guy. And Surf Attack does the trick, and Stanley has been defeated. And, well, let's go ahead and take on this guy. And he's asking what compelled me to come over here. Well, there's a there's something going on around this these parts, and kind of need to trade. And, well, look at this. A person with a golem. It's about darn time. So let's go Psychic Attack for the win. And that nearly defeats this guy, and here he comes out with a rollout attack. This is scary right here because, well, rollout. You gotta love, you gotta love its increased power every single turn. And well, Golem defeated. And well, Ruin Maniac Foster. He's like, it's been a long time since I battled. My instincts are off. Hmm. Okay, that didn't really make any sense, but I kind of have a feeling there's there's something right here hidden, touching these rocks. Come on, there's got to be an item here. Nope. Always check your surroundings, and there's one more individual. And it's said to be, it's said that there are mysterious stones on this island. I suspect, I suspect it has something to do with the ruins here. Okay, alrighty. Here we go. Another ruin maniac. His name is Larry. He's gonna be coming out with his macho. Big mistake. Ultra Psycho. Let's go. Psychic attack. And well, we're gonna finish this guy out with a psychic, and just like that. We defeated Ruin Maniac Larry. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are in the dotted, uh, the dotted hole, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, check more thoroughly. It says, Draven left the door alone. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is gotta, I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And I'll be back right here because I need to switch a few things around. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so we're back. And uh, a little story before we go on ahead and solve this puzzle. Uh, yeah. So... Another thing too, back in the day, I did not know how to open this this whole thing right here. Yeah. It took me what was it? What did it take for me to actually open this thing? There was no YouTube at the time. There was probably You know what? I read it. I read it in a Nintendo handbook. Yeah, that's what happened. I read the Nintendo handbook, opened this thing up, and I couldn't believe that I solved the puzzle and all that stuff. And that's all it took. So if you go right here, the dotted hole, it says, The door doesn't budge at all. Check it more thoroughly. Yes, on a closer inspection, there are several dots on the door. Don't know what that says. That right there is what kind of, you know, irked me because it was like, okay, whose idea was it to put 
friggin uh, braille onto this whole thing nobody knows how to read it and plus if you get a blind person to do it they're not gonna see it and tell us they have to feel it so it's like wow anywho what you do need is a Pokemon that knows cut and thankfully we do have Puss in Boots and there it is Puss in Boots cuts his way through this dotted hole look at that okay so here we are in the dotted hole guys this place is uh yeah this place is just like the lost cave where you're gonna have to go in certain in a sequence of uh holes to actually get to the final part of this whole plot pl place right here so from what i'm looking at is you cut the door then you have to go up we're gonna be ending up going into another room as you guys can see there are some uh there are some uh place or some plaques right here with you know the, the what you might call it the what it says where to go next from here you have to go left so we're gonna be going left and oh I guess I was wrong never mind so let's see go up let's see we left does not work so we're gonna go oh okay I see what it means Okay, so as you guys can see, we're going through a whole bunch of places. I'm assuming we go we go up right here, then we go left, and let's see where this one takes us. So we're at left. Now we have to go right, and from there we have to go down. And as you guys can see, we get to the final room. There are no extra stuff, so do not worry about it. Now, once you click on this, we have found the sapphire, but it's not going in our bag. And this guy right here just bangs his way around. He's like, -hoo 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 -hoo. I guess right. I was right in the ta I was right in telling you. I knew that, that there was a sapphire here, so it belongs to me. It'll sell to Team Rocket for serious money. Don't don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you get it? Go 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 get it after I sell it. I'll even tell you one of the passwords of Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is yeah nah Chancy. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. Yeah, read much, read much. But yes, we have found a sapphire, and I do not know what this says. So again, you guys are more than welcome to comment down below to say to you know decipher this whole thingy right here because I I, I don't know what it says. I really don't, and I'm not gonna bother in trying to figure it out, guys. Trust me on this. So, there it is. We get through the dotted hole, guys. And, well, that is pretty much our episode for this for, for this one right here, guys. I know that the last few episodes have been short. Very sweet. Normally, I've been going through just everything all at one episode. But, I kind of feel as though that, you know, we, 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 we can slow it down now that we are, like, like really close to finishing up this whole walkthrough. And... Uh, well, I think it's by next week. Yeah, next week we will be able to finish up this uh, this walkthrough. Because after this, we have to go straight back to the warehouse over where Team Rocket's at. And look at this. We found ourselves a whooper. And by the icon right there next to its name, yes, we've already caught Lucky. So don't worry about that, guys. So yeah, next week we're going to be hopefully finishing up the whole thing. I'm writing it down right now. And it looks like to me, it looks like to me that we will be finishing up this walkthrough by next week. Um, Sparky, of course, getting some training. Uh, going into the Pokemon League itself, I want to use a different team. Might not have my starter, maybe, I don't know, but I will be showing you guys a, a cool place to actually train your Pokemon. Uh, how to boost up their levels pretty high. Um, but yeah, we will be finishing it up. From what it's looking like, we have to get through the warehouse, then, you know, uh, what was it called, uh... Seven Island, and then from there, that's where everything just uh, just gets there. Like you know, so after Seven Island, we got the legendary Pokemon, like the roaming Pokemon, Mewtwo, and then from there, the Elite Four. So it's looking like we're finishing up next week, guys. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as possible. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.